Christian GP claims he's been fired over his views on transgenderism. This is the story of Dr David Macareth, who says doctors are being forced to change their beliefs as gender ideology spreads throughout medicine. He plans to go to the High Court in a bid to reverse a tribunal's decision to dismiss him after he refused to call a trans woman she. The doctor is refusing to renounce, he says, his Christian belief that gender is determined biologically at birth and says that his faith meant that he could not describe, for instance, quote, any six feet tall bearded man as madam. Well, I'm joined now by, by Dr David Macareth. Uh, doctor, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Um, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, uh, this is really important. Um, this is, uh, I'm, I'm just a, a, a small doctor. I'm not a GP, I'm an accident and emergency doctor. But uh, what are we hoping to achieve? Well, I was ordered to say something. So that's compelled speech. Um, I was sacked for not saying it, uh, even though I believe it to be a lie. So the government is ordering me to lie. Um, I was told that my Christian faith was of no consequence whatsoever, of no consideration. So that affects belief. If you don't believe transgender ideology, you're out. Does that mean that they're going to sack all of the um, religious doctors and nurses in the country? Um, and I was told I couldn't practice my belief. So there's a clash of worldviews here. And whether or not people agree with my Christian faith, uh, we have to fight for freedom of speech, freedom from forced speech, freedom of belief, and freedom to express belief. The judgment okay. said that we should all believe transgender ideology. I mean, David, setting aside the fact that you'd spent, I, I read, 28 years working in A&E and the NHS can ill afford to dispense with the services with that degree of experience. As you say, on the, on the point of principle, the thing that struck me from the judgment was the judge saying that uh, re religious beliefs were, quote, mere opinion. I mean, uh, that struck me as extraordinary. How does that fit into the Equalities Act, which makes religious belief a protected <coughs> characteristic? Well, again, I would have to take strong issue with the judge there. No judge should be saying that. Uh, this is historical Christianity. Um, I'm right down the line on my belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and the judge is essentially saying that Christianity is irrelevant. You can go and put Christianity in the bin because transgenderism is the only ideology that's going to be allowed. Now, you, a lot of people have said, look, you should be sacked because you should just do what your employers tell you as a doctor. But what if every doctor and every nurse was forced to believe whatever the government in our day wants us to believe? What if this pendulum swings and changes to a different um, set of ideology or something like that? We have to have a very broad spread of belief in the medical and in the nursing professions. But here we're saying we must all be pinned down to the belief in transgenderism. I do not believe it. I believe with all my heart that we are created by God in the image of God, and that cannot be changed. Our maleness and our femaleness is fixed and cannot be changed. Doctor, how, when you talk with other clinicians who look at your case, are they supportive of you? I mean, I, I was struck by what you just said and how perhaps it feeds into recent conversations I've had here with doctors who've declined to have a mandatory COVID jab, for instance, and the government wanted, wanted past tense, to sack them for a while. It's changed its mind subsequently. But I was struck then by very often how these were not people acting in isolation. They had the support yeah. often quietly uh, expressed from colleagues. Do, do you get that kind of support or not? Well, the, the, the parallel with the, the COVID jab is chilling in so much as can, can something be forced on us? So therefore, can we be forced to believe that a person can change sex? Uh, first of all, I just want to say this. And that is that if there's any scientist, doctor or philosopher in the world that can do show or demonstrate that a person can change sex, bring it on because it can't change sex. It's impossible. But having said that, um, I had tremendous support from my colleagues, but it was all um, secretive, whispers. Because, well, for example, I was told um, by somebody who I can't identify that the nursing staff where I worked at that time, I don't work there now, um, had been told that if anybody supported my views publicly, they would never work again. That was a level of intimidation that was being used. Now, that's why I'm prepared to stand up and fight this, because whether or not other doctors agree with me or they don't agree with me is, a, is irrelevant until we've answer the question, are we free to say what we believe? Is a nurse free to say that he or she doesn't believe a person can change sex or are they going to face losing their job uh, uh, permanently if they do? We, we will leave that question hanging because it's yet to be decided uh, and may, okay. may get close to a decision through the High Court judgment. 
Uh, doctor, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it.